Hi there, welcome to Windows 11 installation. I just inserted Windows 11 media and I started my virtual machine and uh, after that just press the the three dots to you know any of the key to you know continue and I don't have any product key definitely so I'm gonna choose here after welcome wizard and here you have a multiple options like Windows 11 home home n home single user single license education educational and a lot of multiple versions but what is important here is mostly uh, we use from the home edition or maybe pro with the uh, uh, pro or pro for workstations that what we're going to use it so let's you know select one of the edition and see you know what happens so these are the normal uh, terms and conditions which is same in this case for the installation all of that Till the space uh, or till this step for Windows 10, whatever you used to get it, same things. There's no major difference, including this restart button, right? But what is different is this one. You see the look, you see the image, you see the logo, everything gets changed, including a UI and the icons, all of that stuff. Even if you look at this left side and right side within this uh, wizard, the left side takes more space and you will have only lesser space in the left side to select actual options or the text will be displayed very less information in the right side right side but the left side takes more uh, space for the icons and this is where very less space that's what I feel but let's actually select and uh, this is the first time you know wizard it shows that you know select your a nice you know graphical interface to select your windows 11 specific country and the keyboard all of that options now it actually seems to be checking for microsoft updates directly over the internet connected environment now it's actually giving here a few options one would be the to look for personal utilization of this Windows 11 or you can also use for the work meaning you can join to Azure AD as well as to the domain directly from here but if you choose this again personal it will give you the two options one is for the online account meaning uh, you might have your Outlook or you might have your Microsoft ID and just log in with that so that it entire desktop and all the documents get synced to your Microsoft OneDrive or you can use the offline account completely meaning there's no online Microsoft account it's just the local user account so let's have a look on it that um, for uh, personal use maybe let's uh, try to see you know what are those options that you're gonna see as I said earlier if we're gonna uh, have a look on um, a few of the options let's say if I choose here uh, corporate then I need to enter here my corporate account meaning a work account or school account all of that windows 11 specific account but if i choose the uh, more options if you see here you have a domain join instead or you can go back and choose there the uh, set of a personal use so i'll just select the personal use now i have two options i should you know normally get it one would be the microsoft online account or personal account with the offline account so i'm going to choose the offline account so if you people are using any kind of you know, secure devices that can use the first option now they are actually offering me to you know uh, forcibly forcing me to you know use the online account but I know that I cannot use it uh, that account because I just wanted to capture the autopilot hardware ID information from this machine that's where I wanted to you know or show you so I'll just simply take my limited experience and simply uh, proceed further with my user account creation on the local machine so just click on that uh, limited experience and give the user ID so this is going to be your local user account hi and welcome back and uh, in this uh, short lecture or short uh, video we are going to actually try autopilot with Windows 10 not Windows 10 anymore it's just a Windows 11 yes uh, on last uh, two days back that is on the 15th of June 2021 uh, Microsoft entire ISO was appeared on Chinese website yes exactly and a Chinese website called uh, it's a most popular one if you might have already heard Baidu it's a B-A-I-D-U Baidu it's a Chinese website and there's a complete source was available and most of the people have been already downloaded and giving it a try and uh, that's okay uh, it's uh, earlier we used to call Windows X we were expected to release uh, or get that specific version but uh, somehow 
this Windows 11 ISO is available for testing you can Google to find out that Windows 11 but uh, in this uh, small video we're gonna try autopilot for Windows 11 so let's try Now, if you can see, this is my Windows 11. I have already installed, and it is just asking for the few uh, questions like entering the user ID and the password. So I'm just enter the user ID, and this time it's going to ask for the password. So once we enter the password and confirm password, it's going to ask for your security questions that uh, you can give it. You know, what's your pet name, or maybe name of the city, or maybe some other you know questions that is going to just you know security purpose. It's going to uh, enter once you enter that it's going to ask for you to choose the privacy options so these are the privacy options if you look at in the left side the icons has been bigger but the text is lesser so th that might you know change later point but the, the ui looks really cool for us on a windows 11 so let's accept that and i'm actually fast forwarding all of this view so that you don't miss out anything you see that animation is really nice on a windows 11 so once you log in uh, on this machine uh, you should be able to uh, you should be able to see here on a start button is central there's no more on a corner left side uh, all this are on a central very similar to Mac experience right uh, you, you might have worked with uh, Mac and if you see here the latest icons with a great um, UI altogether and this is a bigger UI change if you see here it's completely UI changed uh, within this so I'm just trying to you know, click on all possible ways and if you see here Windows Defender is by default fully active and which is not the case with Windows 10 right and if you see here I'm actually opening PowerShell so I can open PowerShell I can see my control panel and see all that so even I can show you, you know WinWare and the WinWare here if you look at Windows 11 so it's a nice and the build is 2 1 996.1 with Windows 11 Pro for workstations. I hope this small uh, video might be you know, useful for you. Uh, let's hope for the best to get the Windows 11. Hopefully, it will be more secure to secure our online access and makes our life easy. All the best. Thank you for watching.